Hello and welcome to our unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active. This is the IP67 rated version of Samsung's flagship Galaxy S4 device. So we'll take a quick look at the specifications on the back of the box here. See we have the i9295 model number. This is the international variant of the S4 Active and as such we have confirmed LTE compatibility here on the back of the box. For a full list of the band supported, LTE band supported, you can visit the Clove website to have a look at the specifications in full. Also we can see the 16 gigabyte version. This is the only memory variant we have in stock. There may be larger versions in the future, however there's no confirmation from Samsung as to whether those will arrive in the UK as of yet. In terms of colours, we have the urban grey model. There is a blue version and an orange version confirmed by Samsung. We are waiting on confirmation of dates for when those will arrive with us. For the time being, the grey is the version we have in stock. Also, we can see the 1.9 GHz quad-core processor that is standard in the normal Galaxy S4 is present here in the S4 Active. Most of the specifications, the raw specifications, have stayed the same. There are two major differences between the standard S4 and this S4 Active. First off is the screen. Now, while they've kept the same screen size at 5 inches, the S4 Active is using a TFT LCD screen. It's not using the Super AMOLED screen that's available in the standard S4. Uh, there are some differences between those in terms of performance. We might find out that the TFT screen here on the S4 Active results in some slightly improved battery life. Also, the camera has been reduced from the 13 megapixel on the standard S4 to an 8 megapixel here on the S4 Active. Um, we still have an autofocus and flash and a 2 megapixel front facing camera. And here's confirmation of that water and dust resistance, the IP67 rating. IP67 states that the device is water resistant for a depth of 1 meter for 30 minutes. So let's pop this back over and take a quick look inside at the device itself. And then over here, here's the S4 Active. Uh, just put that to one side for a moment while we look at the accessories that are included. And we'll have the standard set of accessories that you'll find with Samsung's range of Galaxy devices at the moment. So there's your quick start guide. So warranty information. We have the headphones, the standard Samsung headphones included with their devices. Spare earbuds. Micro USB data cable. And here, because we are selling the UK model, a three pin UK mains adapter. Also, the battery here. Let's just put the rest of these accessories to the side for one moment. Uh, we have exactly the same battery that ships with the standard Galaxy S4. So we have the NFC near field communication compatibility within the battery. And if we flip over, we can see here 2600 milliamp. This is exactly the same battery that's in the S4 standard. So you can drop and change between the two if you wish. And as with all Galaxy devices at the moment, it's a removable battery. So you can purchase extra batteries should you run out of power. Just peel off the uh, film that Samsung include on the device here, front and back, for protection. A uh, quick look at the device. One of the first things that will pop out if you're familiar with the standard S4 are the three physical buttons here. We have the home button, the back button, and the menu button here on the left. As you might be aware, the standard S4 only has a physical home button with soft keys for the back and menu buttons. The change is because of the water resistance of the device, the soft keys on the standard S4 wouldn't work under water. So that's why we need some physical keys here. Uh, one other major difference as well is at the bottom where we'll find the USB port, this is covered with a flap. That's required to maintain the water resistance of the device um, so if the device is to be submerged then the flap will need to be closed otherwise water can get inside. We have the power button on the same side, the right hand side to the front as would be on the standard S4 and we have the volume rocker on the left here up and down. So that's the basic outside of the device. What is noteworthy of the S4 Active is the fact that we have an open port here for the headphone. Most other IP67 devices, the likes of Sony's Xperia Z, for instance, have a cover for that port. 
So Samsung have got some very good engineering here and managed to make that water resistant without the need for a flap. So we've only got one flap, very good engineering there. Now if we take a quick look inside the plate, peel this off. We have a removable back cover just like every other Galaxy device. So Samsung have managed to make this cover removable without a latch and still keep the IP67 rating. You can see the cover itself has a rubberized internal all the way around the inside and that will help with the sealing and the water resistance all around this tracking here that you can see to stop the water getting inside and into the main board. Be very easy to get into your battery, replace the battery if required, unlike some other rugged devices which are sealed units. The camera as well, if we look up here, also has some rubberized edging on the inside to stop water ingress. Let's just pop our battery in quickly. And I do have a standard Galaxy S4, so we can do a quick comparison on the size of the two models. I'm going to make sure that this is clipped all the way in. This case clearly does need to be clipped all the way around to ensure that the device remains water resistant. If I just take that off again, you can see here that there are clips which need to all be inside. The best way to put that case on is to start from the top and work your way down and then just have a once over as you can see I've just left one slightly undone here so make sure those are all clipped round if you're ever removing and replacing the cover. We'll just grab the standard S4 so here's the standard Galaxy S4 on the left you can see the three buttons on the bottom there on the S4 Active slightly different. The screen size exactly the same at 5 inches and the height and width of the devices are almost exactly the same. The main difference is in the width. We put these side by side, bring them a bit closer, you can see the S4 Active on the right is fractionally thicker. The device is also fractionally heavier as well, it's about 20 grams heavier, although in the hand, both devices with a battery installed, you can't tell much difference between them when you're holding them. The difference in thickness will affect cases. I have tried with this Casemate Tough Case here, which is designed for the Samsung Galaxy S4, the standard version. I have tried putting that on the S4 Active. It almost fits, but not quite. It's the extra thickness that does it. If you try and, you can get it in most of the way, but that extra few fractions around the edging and in the thickness doesn't quite like it. So if you're looking to get cases for the S4 Active, I would recommend getting some specific cases for it and not hoping that any for the standard S4 will fit. The likes of book cases and flip cases, they may well fit if they're not tight, but these tight molded cases aren't gonna fit. What is useful though, with that charging port on the bottom, it's in exactly the same place as the standard S4. So once again, Accessories, charging accessories, you might have car cradles or desk cradles, those will fit as long as they haven't been cut very specifically for the standard S4. If they've been cut very finely for the standard S4 then they might not work. However, the kind of universal cradles that are available will work. When we just turn on the S4 Active we can have a quick look at the settings and software. And we're running Android 4.2.2 as with all the new Galaxy devices. It's running the same TouchWiz version as the standard Galaxy S4. Pretty much everything in the S4 Active is gonna be exactly the same as the standard S4. There is one major difference, and that is in the camera settings and software. Due to the fact that the device can be used underwater, the camera has a specific aqua mode that we can use. Now if we go into the settings, and our modes, here we have Aqua, right here on the right, appropriate for taking pictures underwater. So one can assume here that the focusing, auto-focusing and such within the device and within the camera software has been optimized for use underwater. You see, you will be able to use the touchscreen underwater, 
you sorry, you will be unable to use the touchscreen underwater. Use the volume key as the camera or record key. So that's automatically telling you there that you can use the volume keys on the side to take pictures as once underwater you won't be able to touch the screen to focus or to take a picture. Also the device won't be able to hear any S voice commands um, which are available on the device when it's out of water. So let's see the camera key. And here a reminder to make sure that the USB cover is closed if you're going to be putting the device underwater. And that's the aqua mode. And here if I've got the volume key on the bottom I can take a picture rather than having to press. It will work outside of water, but of course once that's submerged, it would not work. Don't have the scope here in this video to put the device underwater, although expect some rugged treatment of the S4 Active from Clove in the future. We will be testing the device uh, underwater. We will be putting it through its paces. One final thing to mention is this isn't a true rugged device in the sense that it will withstand drops or heavy knocks like some other rugged devices that you may be familiar with. It is mostly for the IP67 rating, so that's the water resistance and the dust protection. So you will need to be careful. It won't survive the kind of drops that other rugged devices will. However, you can benefit from the water resistance. That's been our unboxing of the Galaxy S4 Active. Thank you for watching.